So, it's Reddit time. And yeah, again, without a video. Because, I don't know, it kind of works for me. And uh, yeah, it's all about balance, isn't it? You know, I shouldn't fuck myself working all day long without giving me any pleasure. Like, this is also not sensical. Because life in the end is life. And we should enjoy life. And yeah, definitely something to keep in mind. And definitely something to think about. Ah, a bit of a green tea sip. I'm, I'm, I'm actually trying to drink a bit more and I feel like that is doing my body really good and it's also my my muscles that they kind of changed because of me drinking way more than I did before and you know some things that help me is drinking decaf coffee. I just love the taste of coffee and also just drinking something else than, than, than just pure water. I don't know, like, I am just really not a big drinker, but I also think that it helps me keep keeping myself satiated because I've kind of, I kind of fucked my sense of, say, ah, satiety, yeah, satiety. Um, I don't know why, I don't know how, it might be also due to me trying to just lose fat, me trying to get shredded, me trying to gain weight, and me trying to whatever, like, I kind of feel like that I fucked my whole system a bit. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, let's see. My biggest accomplishment of 2020 is that I stayed alive. I ran a half marathon and read a ton of books too, but they come nothing close to the courage it took to live alone with no friends, no family, in a foreign land and get through all that bullshit alone. This year, I will find my tribe of friends and build close connections to people and stop being a loner. I super, I'm super passionate about the things which are interest me, which weird out most people. I don't blame them, though. I am not normal. It's okay. I have also a set of non-negotiable rules for myself, which include running one day and cross-training on the other. Complete sobriety. No alcohol, sugar, porn, nicotine. Journal and meditate every day. I have been doing this throughout December, and I have been successful at it. I haven't figured out what I want to do with my life, but I want to stay alive, which was not the case a few months ago. Let's get it, everyone. Happy New Year. Yeah, um, I gotta have to say, I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's just finding the gratefulness and, and finding the, the respect for yourself and the appreciation for yourself and the tiny things. I mean, um, it's the same for me as well, quite. No, I, I could be really unhappy about a ton of things that happened in 2020 and uh, how I've dealt with these things and, and, and whatnot. And, but I mean, I also did quite a lot of things, you know, the podcast is doing really well, you know, and I've been able to, to, to grow that a bit. And I don't know, there's, there's other things like getting in shape, um, uh, having just done quite a few things with my friends and, and whatnot. Like, of course, there's a ton of things that I have to, uh, have to quote unquote change or have to better myself at. But on the other hand, there's also definitely some things that I can be proud of. And there is, it's, I mean, it's the case for, for all of us. We all have something to be proud of, whether it is something really small or something really big, there is something. And I, well, I do have a feeling of, we shouldn't also be that harsh to ourselves, you know? We shouldn't also be, yeah, we shouldn't always try, did I say also? I meant always. I, we shouldn't always try to, maybe it, even if it might sound a bit paradoxical, to, to I don't know, like put ourselves under so much pressure, pressure in terms of, okay, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to accomplish this, I have to accomplish that, like, yeah, you know, let's accomplish something, let's make something out of us, but, but, but let's just don't, I don't know, kill ourselves by doing so, I mean, balance, we all need balance, you know, and some find balance in, in working more and, and working on something differently. And some find balance in watching TV and, and watching a series or a movie and whatnot. I mean, yeah, well, let's keep that in mind. 
Today I have one year cigarette free. I had many goals that were abandoned because, well, 2020. Well, this is a really fucked up excuse, by the way. But anyway, but I didn't give it up. But I didn't give up on this. Especially proud that I quit during the year when life gave me the most excuses to buy a pack. Feeling pretty proud. I saved nearly 3,000 bucks and can finally breathe again. Now time to, to lose the weight I picked up in 2020. Yeah, I mean... The problem that I'm having with 2020 and, and you know, everything with the year is is excuses. Like, okay, it's been 2020, Corona hit, COVID fucked me. And that's the reason why I've gained weight. That's the reason why I did this and that and these and those. And and in the end, like, yeah, of course, it's been a difficult year. But, but guess what? There's people that didn't, you know, didn't fuck with their physique, didn't fuck with their body that still thrived and still did something. Of course, it's not been easy, but we, we, I don't know. Like, we shouldn't always be so soft. You know, on one hand, yes, I'm talking about let's stay, you know, let's let's have a balanced life. But but on the other hand, I really got to say, like, let's not all be so fucking pussies all the fucking time. Yeah, life is not easy. easy. Nobody said that. I didn't say that. Nobody said. But on the other hand, um. Let's just work. Let's just do something. Let's just make something us out of ourselves. Let's just thrive. You know? But on the other hand, yeah, let's have the balance. Okay? I'm working all day long. I'm restricting myself in some ways. But sometime, I'm also giving myself a bit of pleasure. You know? This guy takes down haters who try to prey on his insecurities like a boss. He wears the mean comments he got after losing weight on his t-shirt. I post my weight loss pics on Reddit to motivate others. A few Redditors are upset. My posts keep hitting front page and send me mean messages or comments. So naturally, I got some of them printed on a shirt to use it in my latest post. Don't upvote this. It will upset them and I'll have to get more shirts. It is insane. I mean, why the fuck could you be why the fuck could you be angry at somebody that is that has accomplished something? Why? You know why? This doesn't make any fucking sense. It really does not. It really does fucking not. Why? Let's cherish these people. You know? Let's be happy for them. Let's be happy that they did something. You know, that this person is probably living another or actually maybe 20 years more because being so overweight is fucking unhealthy it really fucking is but yeah let's let's see what comments there are he is still fat how pathetic and dis what disingenuous the only thing next fucking level is how pathetic this is well i gotta have to say though hmm well i don't know the original post but i would I'd like to see that. Anyway, uh, love me, leave me a good narcissist past. He'll gain it back within five years. God, you're pathetic. I lost weight, give me upwards now. Well, I am actually very curious what the original post is. So maybe, because I don't know, maybe it was written in a very, uh, yeah, narcissistic way. I mean... I mean, on one hand, again, like there is, there's a lot of black and white today. On one hand, um, I don't understand people that are upset about somebody accomplishing something, and somebody being being, um, I mean, good at something and doing something for the health, which just health per se. I mean, why? I mean, if it is about a company, if it is about making money and whatnot, yeah, I can somehow understand it. But it is about fucking health. Should be something we all should be happy about. But on the other hand, if it was written and if it was communicated in a very, well, I don't want to say arrogant, but in a, in just, yeah, in a shitty way, just, you know, without having the right word now, uh, I can also understand people, like, yeah, anyway. Today I learned that when Stephen Hawking was diagnosed with MO. Tropic or trophic lateral sclerosis or ALS. In 1963, doctors predicted he had about two and a half years to live. 
Fortunately, the disease progressed much slower than the doctors expected than the doctors expected, and Hawking lived up to 76 years before dying in March 14th, 2018, which, I mean, he's an incredible guy, and, and he did incredible work. That's to be said. A 2020 success story. And by the way, I mean, there's a lot of 2020 success stories. 2020, uh, even though it's been a, a really difficult year and, and and definitely not easy, I mean, a lot of people have accomplished quite something, you know, as it was actually the case for me as well. And I, I had to go through a lot of shit and I had to cope with a lot of shit. That's, that's to be said. But, but in the end, it's been quite a successful year, you know, could have been better. Yeah. Can it always be better? Or can it always be better? Yeah, definitely as well. So, so yeah, this is, by the way, also something to keep in mind. Anyway, well, I did it. For the first time in my life, I made a New Year's resolution and actually stuck to it. I did 20 push-ups and 20 crunches every day all year long, which is a fucking great accomplishment. I know it may not seem like much. This wasn't my only work at all year lol, but it means a lot to me. I mean, even even if it is the only thing you do, you're probably progressing quite well by, by doing that. But anyway, I'm highly I'm highly undiagnosed ADHD, and I'm not a big routine person, which means my mind can quickly wander off to anywhere else it wants to go. I noticed this has been an issue, so I took a small step towards creating more of a structure to my days. It was admittedly difficult at first but shockingly the habits did slowly force me into finding some sense of a routine in my days i used the momentum for this to spur other slightly bigger changes into my life such as journaling mindfulness and gratitude exercises and i can truthfully say it has really started to change the way i feel the way i think and the way i live in a year with so much change and uncertainty this simply this simple idea provided me with the time and place to ground myself and start the process of improving my mental health. I'm excited to see what the next year brings for me on my journey, but boy, am I glad 2020 is over. Well, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I'm just fucked up or whatnot, but I mean, yesterday is the same day as today. You know, yesterday is, is no different than today is. For me, like, yeah, it's the new year, but, but I mean, it, it's, yeah, you know, even though, I mean, let's have 2020 be just 12 months, 12 months longer, like have one year that is the size, quote unquote, of two years. And would people be unhappy? Well, it kind of seems to be the case, but it's the same thing now, like, yeah, okay, it's the next year and then, and, and, yeah, and you've passed one year. But yeah, what's the big deal behind that, you know, or of that or whatever? Yeah. Anyway, I hope that you understand what I mean. Communicated it in such a, such a bad way. But anyway. Um, wish you all a good and healthy start into 2021. I'm, I'm excited though. I got off to say that, and this is a really nice illustration. I really am excited what it is, um, what it's going to bring to me and my life and then what I'm going to see, what I'm going to do. And, but I think it's going to be amazing. I think it really is going to be amazing since, you know, vaccines are going to help. And well, is it going to be hundred percent normal? I don't necessarily think so. I guess that there is still going to be um, some ways in which we are going to be uh, restricted quite, you know, wearing a mask, for example. But, but this, by the way, is not a big deal. It really is not. Like, on some days, I'm, I'm literally wearing the mask 24 fucking, well, not 24 hours, but but but, but really quite some time. Like, being a, being a paramedic, you really have to wear it quite frequently and then for really long periods of time. But, you know, initially, of course, it's not been, been that of a nice thing. But now it is, it is just normal. And it is what it is. And I kind of hope that some things are also going to stay. Like these... Um, uh, hand cleaning stands all over the place, like in 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 malls and in uh, yeah public 
places and whatnot. Like, I like these things. And also the mask. I think that wearing a mask when you feel, like, a bit ill is a good idea. Like, you don't want to spread your shit. And you also don't want to get all the shit from all the other people. Like, I think it makes sense. But, 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 but I'm excited. I really am excited for 2021. Um, It's going to be my 20th birthday, which I'm unfortunately feared of a bit because I I feel that that I'm getting old. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still a baby, but but yeah, it's quite some time that I've maybe not used optimally. And yeah, and and maybe this is going to be the overall theme of 2021, like using my time wisely and living my life and kind of being happy and not I mean, in 2020, I've fucked quite a bit of time. I have, you know, well, not say, let's not say fucked, but I've maybe used quite a lot of time in a very nonsensical way. Like, worrying and being unhappy and and being sad and and only seeing the negative and everything and, and whatnot. Like, it's time to change that and it's time to, to, yeah to do it differently and be happy and have a nice life and yeah that being said i wish the best 2021 please stay safe and healthy please keep an eye on your health start working out start doing things don't have too big new year's resolutions be realistic and let's have a fucking nice life gonna see you next time bye-bye